Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer for March 20. Today is the Monday of the fourth week of Lent, and we are celebrating the Solemnity of St. Joseph, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let's have that moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Take up your cross, the Savior said, if you Be not ashamed, let not disgrace your spirit fill. For God Himself endured to die upon a cross on Calvary's hill. Take up your cross and fall. Christ, nor think till death to lay it down. For only they who bear the cross may hope to wear the glorious crown. It's morning, Lord. You fill us with your kindness. O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born, or the earth, or the world brought forth, you are God without beginning or end. You turn man back to dust and say, Go back, sons of men. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterdays, come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. You swept man away like a dream, like the grass which springs up in the morning. In the morning it springs up and flowers, by evening it withers and fades. So we are destroyed in your anger, struck with terror in your fury. Our guilt lies open before you, our secrets in the light of your face. All our days pass away in your anger. Our life is over like a sigh. Our span is 70 years or 80 for those who are strong. And most of these are emptiness and pain. They pass swiftly and we are gone. Who understands the power of your anger and fears the strength of your fury. Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent in your anger forever. Show pity to your servants. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Give us your joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Show forth your word to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Let the favor of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Give success to the work of our hands. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Each morning, Lord, you fill, you fill us, us with your kindness. From the farthest bounds of earth, may God be praised. Sing, Sing to, to the Lord a new song, His praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea and what fills its resound, the coastlands and those who dwell in them. Let the ship and its cities cry out, the villages where scatter dwells. Let the inhabitants of Sela exult and shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and utter His praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes forth like a hero. Like a warrior, He stirs up His ardor. He shoots out His battle cry. Against the enemies, He shows His might. I have looked away and kept silence. I have said nothing, holding myself in. But now I cry out as a woman in labor, gasping and panting. I will lay waste mountains and hills. All the herbage I will dry up. I will turn the rivers into marshes, and the marshes I will dry up. I will lead the blind on their journey. By paths unknown, I will guide them. I will turn darkness into light before them and make crooked ways straight. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. From the fastest bonds of earth, may God be praised. You who stand in his sanctuary, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his name, for he is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel for his own possession. For I know that the Lord is great, that the Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills, in heaven, on earth, in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries, he sends forth the winds. The firstborn of the Egyptians, he smote. Of man and beast alike, signs and wonders he works. In the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sihon, King of the Amorites, Og, the king of the Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He left Israel inherit their lands. On his people their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You who stand in his sanctuary, praise the name of the Lord.
A reading from the book of Exodus. You have seen for yourselves how I treated the Egyptians and how I bore you up on eagles' wings and brought you here to myself. Therefore, if you hearken to my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my special possession, dearer to me than all other people though all the earth is mine. You shall be to me a kingdom of priests, a holy nation. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Today we celebrate the solemnity of, the, of Saint Joseph, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Jesus came into our world in a state of vulnerability. He needed to be defended, protected, and cared for. And Joseph raised Jesus. Joseph is often referred to as the father in the shadows. In fact, none of Joseph's uh, words are written in the gospel and little was recorded about his life. Jesus, uh, Joseph was the protector of Mary and Jesus because they were his special possessions. Ironically, we often say that we are God's special possessions. But in this case, God was Joseph's. Joseph trusted God as instructed by the angel of the Lord. Joseph asked, risked everything he had, including his own life in a very perilous time. Like every other human family, the Holy Family had to confront real and concrete challenges. Yet in every situation, Joseph declared his yes to the Lord. This means that regardless of hardship and personal sacrifice to himself, he consistently chose to put the needs of Mary and Joseph before his own. Joseph, Joseph's devotion helps reveal to us our own call to show special care for the lives of those whom God has entrusted to us. Saint Joseph, help us to imitate your faithful trust and courage. Saint Joseph, pray, pray for, for us. us. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God, God himself will set, set me free from the hunter's snare, from those who would trap me with lying words, and, and from, from the, the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God, God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. A royal official, hearing that the Jesus had come to Galilee, begged him to heal his son, who lay ill in Capernaum. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old, that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was his oath to war to our father Abraham, 
to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A royal official, hearing that Jesus had come to Galilee, begged him to heal his son, who lay ill in Capernaum. Blessed be God the Father for His gift of his, this sacrifice of praise. In the spirit of this Lenten season, let us pray. Instruct us, Lord, in the ways of your kingdom. God of power and mercy, give us the spirit of prayer and repentance. With burning love for you and all mankind, help us to work with you in making all things new in Christ and in spreading justice and peace throughout the world. Teach us the meaning and value of creation, so that we may join its voice to ours as we sing your praise. Forgive us for failing to see Christ in the poor, the distressed, and the troublesome, and for our failure to reverence your Son in three persons. At this time, let's pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to God our Father. Heavenly Father, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Father, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. Instruct, Instruct us, Lord, in, in the ways of your kingdom. kingdom. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, we now pray the prayer that Jesus taught us himself. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to care for St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve its Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.